Okay, we're here in Mount St. Anne on Saturday, conclusion of the cross country events um, after the elite men's uh, cross country and the elite women's cross country today. Talking to Dan Pruel, national mountain bike coach for Canada. Dan, um, do you want to talk a little bit about summing up um, these world championships? Obviously, there was a lot of pressure that for Canada and that Canada put on itself to, to do well here at these home championships. Um, no medals. Unfortunately, I'm close with a fourth with Catherine, yeah, and a fifth with Emily, and a fifth with Antoine Caron, but uh, no medals. So, um, from your perspective, how were these World Championships for Canada? Well, a million times better than Canberra last year. Um, really positive experience from us. Uh, we had a lot more depth than we had uh, the previous year, so it's a sign that our program is really improving. And uh, you know, despite uh, being at home, I I think. Uh, it wasn't more pressure for us. It was more support, and uh, and we we had been framing that all year to to expect that to hear in the media. Oh, it's going to be way more pressure. But the riders were playing a bit of a mental game and saying, hey, that those wearing that maple leaf and climbing up these these hills and having so many people cheering for you. That's that's support for you. And uh, we had Claire Hughes come to one of our uh, pre-race meetings before today's race, and uh, she really uh, brought that home. That that uh, when you're at home. Uh, it's people like to make it seem like it's pressure, but boy, most people on that hill are just so excited just to see a maple leaf, and they're so uh, proud to see you representing your country in a world championship. Okay, so what are the what are the main highlights for you from 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 this week? Well, today's race, obviously, uh, the elite women's race was a was a real highlight. Um, Catherine Pendrel really uh, improved her her performance of the last few years. Um, she got fourth place, but in the last lap, it was anybody's race, and uh, you e know, even even up to second. Even yeah, second was was not out of the question, and so um, all of those girls, you know, were just at their absolute limit on the last lap. None of them were really that good at staying on their bike. They were dabbing and falling, and it was just a a, a really race at the outer limit of performance and, and uh, Catherine left everything she had on the course there was nothing more that that could have been done and uh, it was a really good progression and and it's an it's a nice end to her most successful season yet at the international level and uh, Maria Len was super strong today and uh, you know she's one that that has helped all of us to progress to this level and uh, she's made this world championship very special because all of these people a lot of them come out because of the the legendary performances of Mary Lynn, but that that uh, that level of um, atmosphere has raised everyone's game, and everyone wanted to come here and perform. Okay, biggest I guess surprises for you. Oh, surprises for sure were the junior men and the junior women. Those were awesome performances, and the junior men last year our, our best placing was 28th. And so to get a ninth and a tenth place, and, and Antoine Caron, uh, you know, was in there. He was he was going, you know, even higher places. Yeah, like yeah. I mean, that. he was he was just about to catch fifth. Yeah, yeah. And he, he had a flat, and well, that's mountain biking. So, oh. um, but Evan McNeely turned himself absolutely inside out in that race. I've never seen a guy hurt so bad in his life and still be able to accelerate. Um, that was fantastic, and uh, you know the the junior women were were very good as well. We had uh, Andrian uh, Lanthiernado. It's her first year as a junior. She was about our fifth pick for the team, and she came through and and uh, was one of our very best. And Lauren Rosser, who is also racing downhill tomorrow, she was in there, and yeah. that's another race where we didn't crack the top 20 last year, and now we're racing in the top 10. And uh, even uh, you know, thinking of another step, we do uh, talent ID programs. Both of those riders were at talent ID programs a couple years ago, or when I first started in, in this job. And you know, sometimes you wonder if these things are valuable. But those two were easily identifiable as as riders who are progressing through the system. So I think it's a good, um, good, good point for us to remember to to keep doing those those little things that are very simple mm -hmm. but really impactful for the athletes. Now, I mean, there's there's definitely going to be some people who said, yeah, but you didn't win a medal. Yeah. And yeah. I mean, what's 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 your answer to well, to to that? Catherine's was a medal ride for sure, and and you know, it's uh, what we're looking for is progression in all categories. I mean, last year um, it was likely that we were going to have maybe a shot at a medal or two, but. It was it was a pretty limited depth, and now we have a whole group that's inspired and moving up. And uh, you know, it's <clears throat> sometimes when you're when you're uh, 
watching the sport from the outside, you, you tend to look at only the results and only the medals. But when we're here in the program and we see how hard these athletes work to be the best, um, it's very easy to see that we're on the right track and, and that the country is progressing, our depth is progressing. I, I can't tell you the number of coaches from other countries that said, wow, you guys are really improved. Like that, There were some outstanding performances and it is a progression and, and as Catherine showed, you can't just go from you know being seventh in the world and go and win the world championships. There's some progressions in there and, mm -hmm. and always some, some work to be done. But I, I think that um, it, we have an inspired team, and I don't mean to sound that uh, you know sound cheesy or anything, but but people really you know want to be in the program now, and and they're they're fighting for these spots to come with us to World Cups, and we have some momentum, and uh, long term we have some people on the international performance curve now, and they're juniors, and uh, it's it's exciting because for a little bit of time there we were wondering well who's going to follow up next, who who will be the the people to follow, and you know you see in Emily's uh, fifth performance. Um, at Worlds. Phenomenal race under really hard conditions for her. Um, all of the girls that got medals, Emily has beaten a couple times this year. Yeah. So, you know, bad luck at Worlds getting sick, but uh, she came up with a solid performance under really difficult circumstances. So, you know, I guess uh, if you look on paper, yeah, we didn't get a medal, but uh, knowing the, the circumstances and knowing where the program is going, we're in really good shape and, and I think uh, really, really uh, setting us up for, for really good performances in the future. And our entire goal is, is focused around London and we're still on track with that. And uh, Jeff Kabush showed he's still in the hunt. Today's race was amazing. It was not a great placing for Jeff. He can do better than that and he knows that. But considering the, the year that he's had, where he's, he's struggled in some of the World Cups, it was a complete turnaround and really exciting to see him out there uh, with the top of the world again. So I think uh, Jeff has showed he's st still very much in the hunt for, for London. Okay, so and I guess that, that, was, that was leading into my next question about what the, um, what the plans are moving forward. Like where, where is the Canadian program going from here? Well, definitely, uh, you know, preparing for London. That started last year. We've already started mentally preparing the athletes. We're doing site visits. Uh, we have documents that go out to them. It's like a, the athlete preparation guide that went out to the athletes uh, a month before Beijing. They already have it. They are, they're already getting drafts of it. And so we're just so far ahead of, of where we were in terms of preparation and, and timing. And we have a lot of support from on the podium to, to make sure that we do this right. And so we learned a lot in Beijing, a, a ton. And uh, we're really taking that as our template and saying, okay, what, what we need to be way better than that. And, and this is how we're doing it. And our process through the World Championships is to prove that we as a program have a, have a system or an establishment that creates success. And so we're, we're constantly tweaking that. And, and this World Championships, a, a behind the scenes thing, this was the best uh, staff team that we've ever brought. It was incredible how they all worked together. And uh, it's cool because uh, I don't think the athletes are aware of it. It's not about the staff, it's about the athletes. And we, want, we don't want them to know how it all works, but I can tell you that the athletes have expressed a, a great deal of confidence in, in uh, the support that they had. And uh, we want to get it to the point where the athletes simply have to perform and, and uh, we've done everything possible, left no stone unturned to, to prepare them. Great, well, thank you very much. And I guess now, a little bit of time off before we prefer start preparing for next year? Uh, a little bit of time, but we go into actually reviewing how this all went. A big important part of this is, is saying, okay, we, we uh, need to look at what the very best in the world are doing, look at what we did, what's the gap, and how do we close the gap? And so it's a real systematic review that we do after this. And I think that's why we're seeing the, the leaps in the program that we saw from, from Canberra to now. So hopefully next year will be uh, much better results and we'll, we'll bring home the medals. Thanks very much. Thank you.